All right, for the fascial maneuver series, we're going to work through a set of movements that's going to engage the tissue that wraps around all the muscle, the structure of your body. So what we're focusing on here is getting in different positions, breathing and moving with rotation so we can create a push and a pull sensation on the tissue that gets it to uh, hydrate, so to speak, as you release hyaluronic acid within the layers of the fascia. This first hip opener, you're going to lay on your back, curl up, cross your legs over one another, grab the shins, and externally rotate to twist and pull. Curl in, you could turn your head either way, whatever way you feel more of sensation, and just breathe in and out through the nose, in and out through the mouth. Three breaths into the mouth, three breaths into the nose. Obviously, you can last longer if you'd like to, but the biggest thing to focus on with all these is that the breath is essential. If we don't have the breath, we're not engaging the tissue in a push and pull within the body. So you can think of the breath as the push and pull that creates a stressor from inside. So you've got like a man on the inside, so to speak. Then we're going to move to the hip flexor opener. So you're going to do an offset split stance with one leg behind, the other leg in front. And you're going to take one hand and pull up. So you can grab in this lower abdomen, abdomen and pull up. And you're going to feel some traction on the skin. Now this is just getting a superficial layer of fascia, but you'd be amazed at how much more engagement this gets. You don't have to take the other hand overhead. That's another way you can explore. There's no right or wrong with this stuff. What you're just focusing on is engaging the muscle and just feeling as you squeeze the glute and extend the hip. Now, keep in mind that all these maneuvers are sped up about a one and a half times speed. So as you're doing this, it's going to take a little bit longer than I am. And there's no time limit. You can stay as long as you want. But the minimum is about 30 seconds each. And that's, gonna, again, going to be three breaths inhale, three breaths exhale through the mouth and through the nose. So six breaths total. Three breaths in and out through the mouth, three breaths in and out through the nose. Next, we're going to the hamstring pull. So you're going to grab the hands behind the calf, so right behind the knee, and pull up. So you notice I'm in an off stance position, one leg in front. This is going to create a little bit more ability to sit back and create some length in the posture chain. You might notice from very severe and intense kind of tearing and stinging sensation. If you're very dehydrated and you haven't been moving your fascia and you haven't been moving your body, let's say you've been sitting a lot, then you're going to feel this is going to feel a little bit more of like a tearing sensation. Now, you're not going to be tearing anything, but it will feel, it can feel intense if you're at an unhealthy spot. So, especially with these, breathe in, take time to break as you need. But the thing we're focusing on is getting in the positions and using this as a time to explore and feel the body as it most moves. Then we're going to build up to a low back opener. So, you can take your hands at your pelvis, at your hips, and then twist those so you're going to try and pull the skin of that lower back apart so that's a thoracic lumbar fascia you're rotating the hand forward so you're using your thumbs to pull the skin apart and the hands are right at the pelvis then you can do any type of movement you can uh, split you can rock back and forth left foot right foot to lengthen to the posterior chain you can rock the hips around you can round and flex the back you can arch the back there is no right or wrong here as long as you're moving with the breath again every single one of these is six breaths minimum three in and out through the mouth three in and out through the nose but you can stay as long as you need. And I find that as I get to a spot, there might be a specific uh, set of tissues on the right or the left side that I want to spend some time working on. So within that, what you want to focus on is that all of this is done in a way that you are internalizing and exploring your body. Last piece of this equation is the organ massage. Now, just in case you are thinking this is strange, it is strange, but organs are tissue just like everything else. Your spleen, your large and small intestine, your stomach, your kidneys, they are all things that need circulation and just like everything else, they're wrapped in fascia. And so just as we start to move the pelvic floor and the diaphragm, you're going to start to see some engagement here. But because we have an open abdomen, we have the ability to get in and do some pressure. So it's just like you get a massage in a muscle, you can also get in and get some things moving around in the abdomen. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you exactly what you're doing and pushing on because it's one big mess of things in there. And sometimes you can point to it, but you're going to have to be on the scope of this. What I am focusing on here is... I want you to explore, press in, and if you find a spot that gives you any type of sensation, whether it's nausea, sharp pains, anything like that, just play around. Do some massage. You're not going to hurt yourself. Your fingers are not sharp enough. You can get any of these places and press in. And as you find a spot that gives you some sensation, you can push and pull, but just make sure you breathe the entire time. And I would start doing those standing, but some of them are easier to press in when you're laying and you're relaxing your abdomen and your core as you are on your back. So being able to lower down and press, you'll find a few spots as you kind of work around the organs. Uh, try to find four or five spots and then breathe in and press as you rotate through.